Welcome to another year of Fox 7 Friday football. Plenty of area squads jumping into the deep end right out of the gate with marquee matchups against some of the state's top programs. Westlake, Lake Travis, and Vandegrift all hosting big time openers. We'll also peek in on Rouse hosting Maynard LaGrange and J.K. Dobbins visiting Liberty Hill. And defending state ch champ Cedar Park with a rough road opener, weather wise, anyway. We start with defending 6A state finalist Westlake, a program that obviously buys into the whole if you want to be the best, you got to beat the best concept. Shaps hosting defending 6A state champ Katie John High has a front row seat. I hope you found parking too, John. Oh, yeah, they let me park uh, outside the stadium. So, yeah, no, I didn't, I didn't get a good parking spot. But anyway, this is definitely one that folks have been talking about for a while now. Westlake ranked fifth in the state, while Katie, who went 16-0, a perfect 16-0 last year, won the state title. They are number one in the state. Let's go ahead and get to the highlights. And UT uh, commit Sam Elliger in the no shafts looking good. to make some noise early against the top ranked that Tigers. Posted 10 two, shutouts two. last season. First quarter, and Ellinger down down two, making some nice down. moves, make some guys miss. He picks up 14 yards later in the first. Senior receiver Connor Howard takes the handoff, cuts it upfield, and yeah, he is gone. Howard scores from 34 yards out. They mixed it, missed the extra point, though. Westlake up 6 0 at, uh, at that point. Uh, ensuing kickoff, Westlake's Isaiah Foz forces the fumble. Alex De La Fuente recovers it on the Katie, Katie's 11 yard line. Four plays later, Foz punches it in from a yard out. Shaps convert the two point conversion to take a 14 0 lead. But two plays later, Katie. Answers as sophomore running back DeAndre Glass makes some cuts. He goes 59 yards for the touchdown run. They missed the extra point. Westlake led 14-6 at the break. Ellinger played the entire first half, but he had a noticeable limp as he walked off the field. Right now with about eight and a half left, Westlake leading this one 25-22 in the fourth. 